when I meet Irish people who are about like 40 and over, yeah. right? I have always kind of noted that the relationship with memory that they have is different to people who have grown up with the ability to archive everything that they see in their pockets, you know? Yeah. With the ability to have a, a dictionary on point, with the ability to go to YouTube or Wikipedia or, you know, like people before, like take music, for example. Before you were able to just go on Spotify or like go on LimeWire, depending on how old you are, you had to remember your favorite songs. You had to listen to the radio with a tape recorder in your hand. Yeah, yeah. Burn it, like remember the radio station, the presenter, remember the song. Yeah, but it wasn't a hardship. Have archives. It wasn't a hardship. It no. wasn't a poverty of uh, choice. Ex but like, you see, this is, this is the difference with yeah. the way we approach memory and archiving. Because if I meet two people who are coming from this background, then they'll sit down and they'll actually bond over, hey, do you remember this song at oh, yeah. this time in this way? And you're one who did this thing, and you're one who did that thing. Whereas if I sit down with someone now, I'm like, did you, for example, see this and this and this in the news? Did you see this on Twitter? What is okay. Nikki doing? Look at this song, let mm. me send you a link, here is a meme. Right, and a meme is actually a great capsule to describe this because it's literally like a current living memory. Would like, you be surprised if I told you that I have no idea what a meme is? Um, is it a village in Sweden? Hmm. 